हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द प्रैक्टिकल सेशन ऑफ कोर्स पैप टू थ्री टू ड्यूरिंग लास्ट प्रैक्टिकल वी स्टडीड मास मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ ट्राइकोडर्मा नाउ टुडेज प्रैक्टिकल सेशन दैट इज अबाउट मास मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ सुडोमनास सो लेट सी वन बाय वन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट आर द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दैट इंट्रोडक्शन Uh, Pseudomonas fluorescens uh, it is a type of biocontrol agent which controls diseases like chickpea wilt pigeon pea wilt rice blast sheath blight etc then uh, which media we are going to use for uh, mass multiplication then uh, what is the procedure or method for small scale and uh, large scale multiplication of uh, pseudomonas and uh, what are the points to be considered uh, under quality control and last that is conclusion so here it is the composition of uh, kings bee media it is the selective media which is used for mass multiplication of pseudomonas fluorescens all the details are mentioned quantity and uh, ph that is 7 to 7.2 then uh, next one that is small scale multiplication of pseudomonas fluorescens first transfer loop full culture that is pseudomonas fluorescens culture to 100 ml of sterilized kings bee broth in a 250 ml conical flask here uh, for proper shaking nearly half amount of media it is poured in the flask then uh, incubate it on a rotary shaker uh, having rotation that is a uh, 150 rpm and uh, temperature that is 28 plus minus 2 degree celsius for 48 hours uh, then uh, check the population uh, of uh, that bacteria with the help of uh, colony counter or hemocytometer then next one adjust the ph to 7 by addition of 150 g calcium carbonate and uh, sterilize it in autoclave Uh, for around 30 minutes at uh, 15 psi then uh, transfer 1000 g of sterilized substrate that is talc powder and uh, 10 g of sticker that is cmc which stands for carboxy methyl cellulose under uh, aseptic condition then uh, add the culture that is a uh, 400 ml of pseudomonas fluorescens suspension then uh, mix it thoroughly and shade dry uh, proper mixing uh, should be done avoid the clump formation then uh, regarding moisture uh, shade dry until it reaches the moisture that is uh, less than 20% then in case of packing and sealing packing should be done in the white uh, polythin bag uh, it protects from the sunlight then uh, sealing uh, it should be done with a sealing machine leaving some uh, space for the aeration next large scale uh, mass multiplication uh, it can be done in a fermenter these are of uh, different sizes capacities first of all prepare kings bee broth in 500 ml uh, conical flask and uh, sterilize it at uh, 15 psi for 30 minutes then uh, inoculate with a uh, loop full of uh, bacterial culture and uh, incubate for uh, 48 hours for a fermenter of uh, 250 liter capacity 200 liter of kings bee broth media is prepared uh, then it is uh, sterilized uh, in fermenter itself then add the inoculum at the rate uh, 1 liter for a uh, 200 uh, liter of uh, media and incubate it for 2 uh, days then uh, check the population of the prepared product with the help of uh, hemocytometer then uh, for ph uh, adjustment add 150 g of calcium carbonate per kg of the talc powder then uh, sterilize it uh, in the autoclave that is uh, around uh, 30 minutes for uh, 15 psi then uh, take 
500 kg of uh, sterilized substrate or uh, talc powder and uh, after mixing uh, with 2.5 kg of CMC here CMC it act as a sticker then uh, add 200 uh, liters of uh, pseudomonas broth culture and uh, mix it thoroughly and shade dry as we already discussed in the previous slide then packing and sealing it should be done in a proper way then next that is quality control in case of mass multiplication of biocontrol agent it plays a vital role so at the time of mixing the broth should contain per ml population that is 9 plus minus 2 into 10 raised to 8 CFU CFU stands for colony forming units then the fresh product it should contain 2.5 into 10 raised to 8 CFU per gram of the product then uh, after storage that is storage period or shelf life that is uh, three to four months and uh, after storage the population it should be eight to nine into ten raised to seven CFU per gram and uh, minimum population load for use that is one into ten raised to eight CFU per gram so far we studied in detail mass multiplication of pseudomonas fluorescence thank you for listening take care stay tuned